Hi guys, Clarence are back with a Let's Talk. Uh, we've got some bits to catch up on, uh, future of the channel, stuff that might be coming, uh, stuff that is coming, stuff that's going to continue to come, and a general chat. So, let's start off. First of all, shout out to Tutti for pointing this out, something that I didn't know was coming. And here in the UK, we have a b and It's like a, a shop that sells multiple things, uh, discount prices and what have you. And on his channel, he showed something that he managed to get. Um, we went down to our local, couldn't find it, kept going in, and eventually we got one. And it is the Super Mario Brothers Easter Egg, which comes with a classic retro Mario mug with heat changing, so you get the level, and as it gets cold, you drink your tea, it says game over, and you've got the black screen. Fantastic, thanks for pointing that out, mate, um, because I want to got one here otherwise, um, so that's good to get. So if you are from the UK, and you've got a B&M local, go pick it up, it's only a couple of quid, fantastic. So anyway, let's crack on with the channel. So we're obviously still gonna be doing our game pickups, our game hauls, uh, pop holes as well and uh, they might be slowing down a little bit because I've got so many now I'm running out of space although there is a lot I still want so they will still be coming probably less frequently uh, as I build some up to do a decent video to come out uh, I try and alternate my videos as well so it's not just a string of the same thing uh, I've got a lot of stuff coming now so I'm gonna Plan it out so we'll have a, a game hall, a pop hall, uh, bring it back, a let's talk and such on. So it doesn't get too too stale and boring and it keeps me entertained making videos as well. Do, always doing something different. If there's something that you're not particularly into, obviously everyone's not into everything. Someone might not be into the pops and stuff. That's fine. And you know, you don't have to watch. Um, just watch the stuff that you do enjoy. Look, the game halls, the, the bring it backs and everything. Just try and bring something for everyone. And like I said, there's going to be some, hopefully some new stuff coming in as well, uh, which hopefully you'll be interested in. So let's talk about that. Uh, so first of all, uh, I'm going to start doing now some collection videos. So just doing, for example, my PS1 collection, showing you whole, my whole collection, all the peripherals I have with it and all the just bits and bobs that I've picked up to do with that particular console. And we'll go through, through all the consoles that I have and showing you all the bits that I have with that. I'm also hoping very soon to get my Atari ST back in the collection. It's still at my mum's house. All the games are still fully boxed and as far as I'm aware in good condition. And so hopefully we'll be getting that back into, into the room, into the collection. I can do a video on that, you guys can see it, all the stuff that got me into gaming, where it all began and the stuff I had back in the day. Uh, so that'd be great to get back in the collection. Something else that I've started, I don't know if I'm going to do a video on it yet. I might just do a collection video on it. It depends how many of you guys are interested. Uh, so let me know in the comments. Uh, but I've recently started getting into the Final Fantasy card game. So it's these Opus 1 booster packs. Uh, I've got quite a few already. i just show you there. I've got um, quite a few good rare cards and foil cards and what have you. If there's something you're interested in seeing, um, let me know, I'll do some video on it. I don't know if I'll be doing a regular pack crap opening videos and stuff, but if you want to see the collection of cards that I have built up, just let me know, I'll probably do a video on that. And there's some really good artwork in it. It's Final Fantasy, it's gaming related, uh, it's all good. Uh, I've not actually played the game yet, but can't wait to get into that. And just going back to the pops, the mystery room is the collection that I have. I have three collections, the Gears of War, um, the Basilia and the Fallout ones, they're all nearly finished now. There's only a couple I have, so I probably won't be picking any more of those up. Uh, one, because they're getting hard to get, like the shops that I go to aren't really selling them anymore. And like I said, I need one or two, so I'll be searching for them online or whatever. You. There's no other mystery mini set that I want to collect at the minute that I've seen, uh, so I don't know how many more of them I'll be doing. Uh, like I said, there's still some pops I'll be getting, so I might be getting them as they come. Car boots. Now, we were going to a car boot last weekend, because it was supposed to be going back outside, the first one. They've been on for a while, but inside in smaller places, typically don't like 
going to them they're not as good the one that we our local that we go to is massive it's huge when it goes outside um, and that was supposed to be happening last weekend but it rained on the Saturday night and the Sunday morning so they postponed it and went back inside so we didn't bother however in the coming weekends on Sundays it should be going back outside so them videos will be coming back the car boot hauls uh, all the stuff we're hopefully going to be getting uh, all the surprise deals uh, collections and just start even stuff to trade back in just to get some profit and buy some more of them high-end titles that we're still after um, and you get to see what we're junk we're picking up we should probably be a lot because we've not been for a while we're also going to be doing a car boot of our own so we're going to be getting rid of a load of stuff making some space not the collection that's staying we just junk around the house and what have you so that's coming back so can't wait for that also if you guys have any questions anything you want to know uh, about the collection about me whatever let me down in the comment give me some questions i'll start doing some maybe q a videos that kind of stuff uh, that'd be interesting i've had one question from um retronic collector which i'll be doing a special video for him um about my pop collection and collecting pops and stuff so that will be up very soon stay tuned mate it is coming i do work quite a lot uh, especially weekends so like the sundays i typically work so the car boots gonna be hard to get around but i do have a few off coming up um, for grading as such, so we'll be getting down there every opportunity that we can. So, definitely coming. So, yeah, like I said, the, the game halls and all that kind of stuff that's going to be staying, it's going to be continuing. The Bring It Back series, which I've had quite a lot of positive feedback, I'm still going to be doing that. Try and make them a little bit better as well, a bit more in depth, hopefully. Um, so, you guys can continue to enjoy them. I enjoy making them, I enjoy revisiting old games and series of games, just talking about them. Just, yeah, it's so much fun. It's great to hear you guys' comments back saying how much you enjoy the game or you've never seen the series before and you want to get into it. That's always good to hear. It's it's nice to uh, know someone's watching it and feels the same. So that's, that's pretty cool. Something else I've thought about doing as well, which is a little bit of departure from the game stuff. Um, I'm a massive movie fan, I have a huge movie collection, if you've seen the Man or the Man Cave Room Toy, you'd see the collection I have. I have a lot of steelbooks, I love my steelbooks, so if you guys want me to do a video on Blu-ray steelbooks or anything, let me know in the comments again, that's something else I've been thinking about doing, and I can show you guys all the, the steelbooks that I have, um, that I've been collecting, there are pictures on my Facebook page, um, I might do a video on that as well. It's, some of this quite interesting and if you're a movie fan or you like your still books yourself it's, it's nice to see the very variations and stuff that you can get with them i've probably got about two shelves of steel books now so i might do a video on that let me know your thoughts on that that'd be good and yeah in general if there's anything you want to see let me know and i'll try and do videos on that as well i'm also looking at getting a ps4 there's so many exclusives to the PlayStation now that I want to play I think it's time to maybe pick one up like they're, they're so cheap now you can pick them up for like bundle deal for next to nothing and definitely looking at doing that um, games like Horizon, Near Automata but I love the, the first Near game I got on the 360 and now it's like just on the PS4 it's a bit going so I really want to play that it's a really good cool game so yeah, near um, Horizon Noah, I think it's pronounced that kind of Japanesey Dark Souls game. The Uncharted series, obviously four games in that series that I've not played that I want to get into. The Last of Us, obviously I have played it a bit, so I want to finish that off. There's so many that, games that I want to play now that it's worth picking up. I never bothered with the PS3. I, I just couldn't get on with it. I didn't like the PS3 at all. In fact, there was only one game, just one game on the PS3 that I wanted to play, Metal Gear Solid. It's the only game I wanted to play. And the reason I put off playing, getting a PS4 is because it wasn't backwards compatible. So I couldn't play that Metal Gear on the PS4. But now there's so many games out that I want to play. I think it's time to nearly pick one up. So that will be coming to the channel soon, probably. And you start picking up for another console as soon as I make space on under my TV. I 
think we have a space for a PS4 down there easily. So we get that hooked up as well. So that should be coming as well. The board games are going to be continuing. We're nearly finished with the Cock Zone expansions now that I have. Then we'll be moving on to some other board games, some lesser known ones, some more unique titles that we've been picking up. So, I mean, the Cock Zone videos are probably my most watched ones. Of like thousands of views on them. And uh, people just love that kind of stuff, and I enjoy making it. Uh, enjoy board games as much as I do um, console gaming. So got plenty of board games to get through so they're going to be continuing like I said we're going to be having some different stuff we've even got some gaming related board games coming for you guys we like your, your gaming stuff so stay tuned for that as well so yeah there's a, a bit of a rundown of what's to come what's happening that kind of stuff as usual my videos will be coming out on a Tuesday around 12 o'clock uh, GMT typically only do the one video a week on a Tuesday because Tuesdays are my days off and it's I can get a lot done on those days, get a few videos done and scheduled to go up. Uh, so some might be later than normal. Sometimes the, I have a video up on a Friday, if a particular collector's edition comes out, it comes out on a Friday, I'll pick it up and do a video straight up, get that straight up for you guys to look at the what's in the collector's editions, if you guys want to buy it or not. However, some collector's editions now have been coming out and games released on a Tuesday for a worldwide release, uh, so they'll just be coming up on Tuesdays as usual. So. Um, yeah subscribe for future videos and all that good stuff that is coming thanks to everybody who has subscribed so far the channel is starting to take off a little bit now we're, we're getting there and as soon as we reach that 100 mark we're doing some giveaways and stuff and all that good stuff that comes with that so big thanks to you guys for checking my videos out really does mean a lot everybody who likes my videos and all them comments i try to reply to everybody so yeah, it's just, just nice to know that someone is watching and has liked the content that I'm making. So that's all good. Like I say, hit me in any questions or stuff you want to know, pop them down in the in the comments. If I don't reply to a comment, if it's a question, it's probably because I'm going to do a video on it that I'll always do that like on. Uh, but I do like to reply to everybody, even if it's just a thanks for your comment or whatever you have. We'll have a chat about whatever you've commented on. So there we are. Um, like I say, cheers guys and we'll see you in the next one.